Good afternoon. Today I'm at Burnham Football Club. One of those days, um, second one recently, where I set off to go somewhere else. I was intending to go to Taplow United in the Thames Valley League. Got there, found the ground. Not a soul in sight. Absolutely no idea why it isn't on. Um, according to the website, it was. Couldn't see that the ground was frosted. So I've hastily redirected, found my way here. Um, and quite a nice surprise, to be honest with you. Um, never been to Burnham and a really nice big stand over there plenty of cover hardly a soul here at the moment um, they're playing toughly in a league match some more cover over there um, but I think I could have turned up a little uh, little lump of gold um, with my misfortune anyway so let's go for a walk around the ground and if anybody is looking for a pallet in the Buckinghamshire area um, Berkshire area even then this could be the place to come um, I once when I was in the scouts almost set fire to a field by putting way too many pallets on a campfire um, happy memories probably still hasn't been doused down now to be honest with you but there you go can't beat a good wood pile that's back for where we've just been the entrance over there particularly jolly man there who came out of a stream of one liners um, great nice welcome so walking around the far side now I found two of those rarities at a place like this, um, fellow supporters. So here we have the first area of cover. It's a standing area. Um, it's cold um, today, although I went out at quarter to seven this morning and it was bitterly freezing and it's nowhere near that now. It's still, it's quite pleasant. Um, watery sunshine. Um, they're forecasting snow and sleet and Armageddon tomorrow, but at the moment there's nothing wrong with this. Pitch looks a little bumpy, I suppose. Um, sort of remnants of leaves there. But other than that, it looks perfectly pliable and quite dry, to be honest with you. So some uh, plastic sort of Perspex dugouts. See, away one we just walked past and the home one coming up ahead of us. Goalkeeper in front of us going through his drills. Slightly iffy looking porter cabin on the far side there. And um, there's the main stand again, executive boxes on the first floor, something like that anyway. I did walk into the ground floor and there's a small bar area there with a couple of people but no one uh, sort of sitting having a drink at this point. And bizarrely there were disco lights um, going which at half past two in the afternoon and nobody in the room just seemed um, a slight so to touch out there to be honest with you. So walking uh, on this far side, coming up to the end, and yep, we found a couple of large tyres. Um, you often see a few centre-halves at this level with a spare tyre. Um, well, I've just found a couple more spare ones down here. Um, they're big, and I have no idea what they're doing here. Um, who knows? Big old tyres, um, you wouldn't want to move those in a hurry. So just looking back at where we came, tree lines on this side that we just walked, hard standing all the way around, bit of sort of rough um, grassland here, and um, you know plenty of room for development I suppose if they needed it. Um, but to be honest with you, this is really very, very nice. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Westfield where I went um, a few weeks ago and uh, there's a blog when I walk around there. Maybe not quite as big, but there really is a very nice stand for this level. Um, not that many seats in there, 150 maybe. Um, but it's an excellent um, facility, loads of cover um, for this level really nice burnham's a nice place very quiet very sleepy very middle class um you would hope that a football team who used to play a much higher level southern league i believe um the mighty have fallen let's hope they find a way back up there and here we have a derelict porter cabin um some might consider this art i'm not quite sure of the purpose for it um, one chair in there. There you go. Maybe that used to be the uh, committee room or something. 
So, coming to the um, stand ahead of us, just a few people littered in there. One of the teams there. Curved staircase as per Chichester, where I went last season, which leads up to a bar earlier. And there you go, you heard that from a coaching manual in the FA. If I hear anyone standing still, I'm going to come and embarrass them. But he's just embarrassed himself, so um, I'm sure he'll be able to manage that. So I'm slaloming through the bins, which are littered all over the place. Um, officials and guests in this little area here, and then plenty, and I mean plenty, of seating area for um, the hordes of spectators that I expect will come in with five minutes to go. So let's go and take a seat. Um, so this is Burnham Football Club, but don't take my word for it. If you're able, why not come along and pay a visit yourself? I'm sure you'll get a warm welcome like I did, and we'll be delighted to see you. And I'd love to know what you think. If you're not able to get here, then why not take yourself to another non-league grounds? Send me a tweet at YT40, or we'll do a video yourself and copy me into it. I would love to view it. Um, if you've enjoyed this, then please click on like. If you haven't enjoyed it, click on dislike. I'm really not going to take offence. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, then please click on the subscribe button and they'll automatically go through to your YouTube feed. If you click the little bell once you've subscribed, well, just you, your life will never be the same again. Amazing things will happen. You will not believe it. Go on, give it a try. Anyway, thanks for watching and this is Burnham Football Club.